फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द लैम्ब्रेट रेयर हब एंड दिस इज द फ्रंट हब दीज आर द ब्रांड न्यू वन ऑफ ओल्ड लैम्ब्रेट लेटस सी द लिटिल बिट डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस फ्रंट हब एंड रेयर हब द ब्रेक असेंबली विल बी लाइक दिस This is the cam for lifting up the brake shoes and for lowering. It will be the brake shoes will be on the spring tension for returning purpose. One important point related to speedo cable is the speedometer cable is such it is like spring, a hard spring. Whenever is there any jam related to speedometer and its components the wheel should not jump at any case this is the safety point if any case if something goes wrong it will be twisted off and it will get break off so wheel will be free this is the very very important point that that's why the construction of speedo cable is like this it this is the hub shaft and there will be two points here on both the sides these two are very important this is the rubber ring like seal here here in this part this one it will go like this when it go it is coming up to here it will rotate and from speedometer cable for example i am showing so when the wheel rotates it will rotate so whatever the grease you apply that that grease should not come up to the brake side this rubber ring will be placed in this groove basically to avoid any uh, dust or grease coming to this point it will go like this for example i am showing so this is the assembly i removed bearings and sir clip and the spacer from this i will show you this is the spacer and these are the seals and these are the bearings sir clip supposed to be fitted like this the plastic one gets break off it is better to place a metal one that will be permanent this will get break off very easily while rebuilding the front hub we will see how the exactly all parts are going inside this is the hub api the hub will be like this this design is for providing the strength to this part and this design is also this design also these like these cuts like fins these are for giving support to the whole drum suppose if in case suppose if there is any damage to this thread if you want to change this stud it is not the normal one the threading is reverse see if you tight it it will come out when you view from this side the wheel will rotate like this see it is coming out see why they provided like that when the wheel is moving ahead if the threading is in the normal direction because when the wheel moves it should not be self unlocked that's why they given reverse threading same thing is applicable to this also this is rear drum i am moving it anti clockwise so it is getting tightened up for removing i am moving it clockwise so it has come out it will it will be fitted on the shaft three adjustments are there after tightening place place the locking plate put the screw the important point is to place this locking plate for the proper locking and also for the safety purpose of the rider i hope it is useful let us meet again